there's a whole culture of denial of the stuff that we're talking about. Pseudo skeptics. And the skeptic society is part of that. There's the JREF forum on the internet, which is part of that whole thing. There's that whole popular mechanics, did a big major expose. There's National Geographic, who has, has done a couple of terrible exposes on television over L, uh, various aspects of this. There's this whole effort to paint the 9-11 truth movement as a marginalized, non-credible um, response to 9-11. Sounds like Mike Sh He's involved. He's one of them, yes. There's a, whole, there's a whole culture of people out there. Excuse me, I'm not hearing you. What? I, I wasn't bringing any of that up that's not my direction. Okay, that's fine. I'm not trying to attack you. I'm, I'm, I'm basically, part of the emotion that came back out, I think, in my thing is, I've been attacked a lot, and I basically, hey, I have, somebody called a, my attention just yesterday, there's this guy named Alien Entity on the internet, go look him up, he, I'm his pet project, he's out there to debunk everything I've ever done, he's been at it for several years, so he won't, acknowledge who he is, but I mean, there's people out there who, uh, for whom uh, debunking this and making it seem crazy is their way of helping this not gain traction. I don't doubt that. Okay. And if it holds up after all of that, then it's a solid theory. If not, then it's not. So okay. that's all the only way I'm I don't have any problem with that, and thank you. And I'm sorry. All right. I'm just trying to explain that I, I feel like I sort of came on a little strong there. Okay? But what I'm responding to in the process of responding to your questions is where I've heard those exact arguments made was this whole realm of debunking, all right? And so that was what I really wanted to let you know is the, the debunking websites, uh, the JREF forum, the, the Skeptic Society, Popular Mechanics, all of those are, they have a major lack of credibility if you actually start looking at them critically. And so, yes, it's an interesting question, but then I think it has a straightforward answer, is that no pressurization can't account for what we're seeing. That's my answer to it, anyway. And you can ponder that more, if you like, on your own. Is that okay for right now? I guess so, because it's a, I would ask why. Why what? Because once you have, once you have several waves of demolitions, did you see the one where I was talking about the lower wave had already come swept through all of this, and you still have all of these pinpoint ejections coming up above there? This lower wave had already come by there. It had opened up all of these floors. There's no closed compartments to pressurize. Once you open the windows, you have atmospheric pressure inside and out. Now there's gonna be, as the floors come together, there's gonna be an increase in pressure like that, and so that's why you get a puff of stuff and all that. But we're talking about focused ejections through floors that haven't collapsed yet. This floor is here, this floor is here, they stay there, and there's a thing that comes out in between. What's gonna cause that? It's not gonna be pressure in the air conditioning system, and it's not going to be generalized air pressure on that floor, which has already been opened up. It doesn't work as far as I can see. Okay, I, I guess that's as far as I need to go on that one right now. <laughs>